So after much experimentation, I think I may have finally cracked it. Hello everyone, my name is Ash, and in this video, I believe I have the best free for free total football system that FIFA 23 has to offer. So with that being said, roll the intro and let's get into it. So welcome along everybody, hope you're all doing well. I'm going to show you all of the position changes, the tactics and the instructions for this ultimate total football system today. But before we get into that, I need to quickly give you guys a very important notice with regards to this system. This tactic is ultimately fine tuned. It requires a very specific type of player for each role and each position and you have to bear that in mind. You cannot just try to implement this into any team possible, particularly with lower rated teams, you need to make sure that in each position you have got the correct type of player. On the screen you will see what you are looking for and what I mean here. In particular, work rates are what we are looking for. We're also looking for players with high stamina as well, particularly in these midfield and the wide positions as well. It's very, very important that you do fulfill this, otherwise it won't execute to as much of a good degree as what you are looking for. We'll talk about why that is as we get into the video, but first things first, let's talk about the positions. We've got this 3-4-3 three, three here, and there are a lot of position changes. First things first, with the back three, as you'll notice, Calvin Bassey here in this case is actually changed to left back. What we're trying to do here is get him further forward, contributing to attacks more, playing that hybrid centre-back role, someone who is going to join the attack, and you don't really get that when they are a left centre-back. Instead, you need them at fullback. In the midfield, what we do have is we've got a defensive midfielder here. We've got a left central midfielder here in Dominguez. And then with Grilich on this side, we've actually got him at Ram. Lots of experimentation in this. I'll talk more about this in the behind the scenes video of the system that you can find on my Patreon, as well as lots of fantastic rewards as well. So go and check that out. Uh, what we're looking for here is for him to bed back into the defensive line. What you'll notice is there's a lot of space being created on opposition counter attacks and they're leaving lots of gaps and he can get exploited so what we can do here is change him to attacking midfield and you actually get more control over his defensive position because then you can get him to track back and he helps kind of blend it into a back four which is really really important so whilst he does get him further forward in possession out of possession it will help him to defend better we've got Berghaus at camp we've got Kudus at striker and then Popescu and Solbach and in this case are on the wink. On to the custom tactics then. It's important to mention that what we're looking for from this total football system, what makes it a total football system is the movement, the ability of all the players to kind of get into positions. And this is part of the reason why we have Bassi at fullback. We originally, of course, explored St. Juiced at right back as well, but we've opted for him at centre back. We're just trying to get as much movement as possible, get players into bits, areas, and pockets of space to play the ball into them. Defensive style is constant pressure. I know some people are going to complain about stamina, but if you have a look at the uh, stamina levels at halftime in the gameplay that you'll see down below, you'll notice there shouldn't be a problem. If you play properly, you rest in possession effectively, you don't play at a million miles per hour. And also if you use my custom sliders, which you'll find on the channel as well, then you will not have an issue with stamina. So don't worry about that. What you can do though is make a defensive game plan is if towards the end of the game, say last 15 minutes, you want to see the game out, but you don't want to lose the kind of principles that dictate this total football system, then you might want to change the press after possession loss just to do that as well. The defensive width is on one and then the depth is all the way up to 100, creating a high line. Also worth bearing in mind that my defense, Calvin Bassey, 92 pace and Juice, 93 pace, very, very highly suggested for this type of high block. Uh, offensively, we've got slow build-up and possession for the build-up player and the chance creation. The width is on 10, condensing it very much so. means that your players aren't too stretched when there are transitions for the opposition. And then players in the box is up to 6, giving you roughly about 4 players in the box. Finally, corners of free kicks, both of these are on 4. By the way, make sure to keep an eye on the gameplay to find out my, I think, second goal scored from a free kick. Oh, yes. So with the player instructions in, starting off with Gorta in goal, we've got him on comes for crosses and then sweep a keeper. With Denier in central centre-back position, it's important you've got him on conservative interceptions. He plays more of that sweeper role, whereas the other two ahead of him, we want really closing down in certain moments. With St. Juiced, we have him on join the attack for attacking support. However, it generally doesn't work. It's really there as just a principle. If you do want him to occasionally join the attack, then use LB and A or L1 and X. Uh, to do a give and go pass and then you can get him running forward 
and get him into the attacks that way. With Calvin Bassey over on the left-hand side, he's on balanced attack and then inverted run tides. Very important you have him on balance. If he's on joint attack, he will be getting forward too often and you're going to find lots of gaps and the opposition exploiting that in uh, kind of opposition transitions. What the inverted does is make sure that he isn't overlapping the wingers because in this case, the wingers are the ones who are going to be sticking on the touchline. Cataldi at defensive midfield. We've got his defensive behavior on balance. This is very important as well because if he's on man mark, he gets dragged out wide too much following the men rather than kind of manning that area in the center. And on cut passing lanes, he doesn't kind of screen the defense enough. His attack support is stay back whilst attacking. His defensive position cover centre and position freedom deep line playmaker. As we spoke about, it's important we've got as much movement as possible and this is going to be part of that. With Dominguez, he's playing this box-to-box -box role. So attack and support is on get forward and support and crosses is getting to the box for the cross. His positioning freedom, free roam and defensive position also cover centre. Free roam again, as we're talking about, we would just want as many players moving as possible. With Grilich over on the other side... Uh, we've got him on comeback on defense and as i've already alluded to here this is what's going to enable you to really get more protection in the defensive phase of play he's going to drop off and it helps to kind of form a back four remember you're going to need a player with high stamina in this position in particular for grillich here he's actually the one thing that doesn't suit him very well to this role is that he's only got 75 stamina and you're really looking for someone in the 80s at the very least to do that but he does have the correct work rate with medium attacking and high defensive Stay on the edge of the box for the crosses to make sure that he's in a better position to track back and his positioning freedom is free roam because then what that's going to do is despite the fact he's an attacking midfielder, he's going to drop off and show for the ball in deeper areas. With Berghaus, we've got him on comeback on defence to get him tracking back and get into the box for the cross. His positioning freedom is drift wide and you'll notice him coming into the half spaces more, supporting the likes of Popescu and Solbakken who are going to be stretching the play and making sure that they are not isolated too much. Moving on to the two wingers next, Solbakken and Popescu. Both of these are on the same instructions. They are on basic defensive support to make sure that they're not tracking back too much and making a back five. That's what you don't want. In this case, we get a really nice shape because then out of possession, it actually forms a 4-4-2, which is really good for kind of complementing a press. Chance creation is stay wide to get them on the touchline. They're going to stretch the pitch really nicely and then support runs is get in behind to get them penetrating the back line. Support and crosses... He's getting to the box with the cross. Now, with Kudus up front, he's playing this false nine role, which is extremely important. As he drops off, you get the runners of Popescu and Solbach and Dominguez, Berghaus, etc., running in beyond him. So he's on stay central for support runs, and then his attacking runs are on false nine. With his defensive supports, he's on stay forward. And so this system is a really fun one to play if you do have the right personnel for it. As I've said already, make sure that you are signing the right players for it who suit each position nicely it's very fine tuned so you are going to need a specific set of players or you're going to need to develop them like i have done in this career mode here in order to kind of match them for that position so that's something you should bear in mind as well with all that being said we're ready to run it off there if you've got any questions for this system then please do not hesitate to let me know no more tactic suggestions please we're not doing any more ta real tactics recreations for fifa 23 so please no more of them in the comments have to wait until ea sports fc 24 but if you do want to get more tactics videos of more niche systems then check out my patreon the link to that is down below lots of fantastic perks and rewards on there including exclusive tactics videos you can see the ratings and rankings of every system we do cover on the channel as well as behind the scenes videos where you can get access to see how i created this tactic and what went into that which is a really fun one to get stuck into as well as discord server access and a whole lot more as well with that being said we're going to round it off there thank you so much for watching everyone and until the next one I will see you soon.